In April 1960, he left New Jersey, headed for Florida. I heard that there was a story about James Fair and some trouble that he had gotten in down south. But little did he know about the South Georgia town where he took a pit stop. When we first moved to Blakely, lynchings were still taking place. My father buried a couple of people who had been lynched. Where an eight-year-old was found murdered. He said, I'm not going to tell you that I did something that I don't even know what's going on. And where in less than three days, with no jury present or lawyer to defend him, a judge set a date for him with the state's electric chair. His name was Judge, I don't want any niggas in my court, Greer. I had already written him off as that, you know, that's a lost cause. They're not going to say, you know, here's another Emmett Till. That is until a mother demanded answers. I don't remember the names, but I do remember all the people that were rallying and trying to keep her lifted up. A New York City broadcaster hit the airwaves. Have no fear. Big Joe is here. And a congressman back home spoke up and spoke out. Time's running out for a young man who is being railroaded to death. Leaving it ultimately up to two Southern black lawyers to close ranks in a race against time. From the director of the award-winning documentary, Passage at St. Augustine, Fair Game.